Double front dismounts can be performed using a stronger tap action with close similarities to the one used for Yager releases. Or the dismount can be performed with a tap closer to the one used for regular giants like in this case. While in the front giant there is a strong arms pull with wrist shift and the body changes shape to a more hollow line. For the double front dismount the athlete does not pull the arms to the support, shift the wrist, hollow or pike while swinging up. Instead the goal is to release the bar with an open shoulder angle and a slight arched line. Because pulling up or piking may cause the dismount to come very near the bar and the athlete may hit the rail. Notice the shoulder angle open without any pull to support right when the gymnast is letting go of the bar. She could be on a closer tuck position but she has a shin grab that is better than a poor knee grab and her back shows some roundness which is better to increase rotation instead of a straight back that is better for twisting. This is another different example of the same skill. The gymnast opens the tuck a little too late and over rotates the skill. Air sense training helps to develop the precise timing for more consistent stuck landings. Now she shows a better timing to prepare her landing. Notice the slight difference in opening the tuck between the still frame from the over rotate dismount. Look at this earlier opening from the one with a better landing. When to open the tuck and to slow down the rotation depends on the rotational speed. The faster the speed the earlier the gymnast can prepare the landing. 